Well, though at four, the Mexican peso's value dropped this week right after the country's presidential election on Sunday. And it's all due to some concerns over the next administration. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Eriberto Perez has this story. Concerns among financial investors was one of the main reasons on why the Mexican peso's value dropped this week, but it was again stabilized today. These concerns might continue depending on the future on both administrations in Mexico and in the U.S. The peso weakened against the dollar primarily because of concerns over what steps um, uh, President-elect Scheinbaum may take after, after assuming office. El peso started this week in a value it hasn't been since last year. Elected President Sheinbaum will have strong majorities in both Mexican chambers in the national legislature starting in October. Other concerns in the financial market, such as whether or not she's going to exhibit fiscal discipline and whether she will deregulate the business registry in the country. Professor Fullerton also told me there is uncertainty that Dr. Sheinbaum will veer off to the left. There was about a seven and a half year period during which which the peso was substantially undervalued against the dollar. Peso was much weaker than economic fundamentals uh, indicated that it should be. Between 2015 uh, and 2023, we saw the value of the peso being at 20 or 21 pesos per U.S. dollar. Currently, it is at around 17 pesos and 60 cents if you want to buy U.S. dollars in Juarez. And I also spoke with some Borderland residents to learn their thoughts on the recent changes in exchange currency values for el peso and the dollar. I will show you what they told me tonight on ABC7 at 5. Reporting in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Heriberto, thank you for that report.